power and my knowledge. You must carry on, but not alone. I have chosen this man. Get me wrong, you're uh, you're in great shape, but your style it just doesn't fit in with the other kids. Fit in? Yeah. Um, where'd you study before you came here? With my grandfather. He was a knight. A knight? Yeah. Well, um, anyway, Ern, you got some strange moves, and I just don't think the judge on Saturday's gonna buy them at all. Why not? Because you got to work in the style I teach. Everybody does. You got to hold your stance. I don't want to see any high kicks, no jumps. Just block and counter. That's all I want to see, Ernie. Yes, sir. All right. Now, look, your natural ability, I'm, uh, I'm sure we can get to wherever you want to be. In fact, you're going to be my star. You just, uh, go with me, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Go take a shower. Sane's not picking anything up. Well, did you empty the bag? Yeah, a couple months ago. What? Did you catch those guys that kept stealing the motorcycles? Uh, yeah. Something's got to get pretty soon. I think something's growing inside this jacket here. Now, we got a lot of work to do. I was coming in tomorrow. I don't want to think we're living like bikers here. How long has it been since you've seen your mom? Mom and me, we got a, uh, what you might call a relationship. Well, that's good. No, it's not good. Well, I love my mom, but uh, I don't like her very much. I don't think she likes me. Well, then why is she coming? Of course, she's my mother. You can't get rid of your relatives, Ernie. They just keep coming back. I mean, don't get me wrong. My family's always been close. But distance can really do a lot for closeness. Why? Well, she likes me. Oh, she will. I told her all about you. She likes kids anyway. She'll hit it off great. You think she'd like to come to my tournament? Sure, she's always up for a good fight. How's the club look this year? Pretty good. My coach asked me to change my style. Huh? Well, as your coach, you know, one thing you learn about America, we definitely are a team sport country. All right. Perfect. All right. All right. Jakey? Mama? Is that you? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here till tomorrow. Well, I'm here. So, can I come in or what? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, sure. We were just emptying the vacuum cleaner back. Come on in. I just uh, got home from work. Working undercover, uh, trying to bust some bikers over Monroe Heights. This is Ernie. Ernie, say hi to my mom. 
Hi, Mrs. Rizzo. Yeah, would you uh, take a bag for me? Yeah. Who is that? That's Ernie, Mom. Oh, Ernie, the kid from the magazine. What name? What magazine? You told me you were a foster parent, so I thought it was one of those things where you send five dollars overseas every month and they send you pictures, like Paul Newman. Mama, you never listened to me. I told you Ernie is here, living here. Jakey, I think he's some kind of foreigner. Yes, ma'am, I'm from Pakistan. Yeah, which is a long story, Mama, which I already told you and you didn't hear. Uh, look, uh, we're going out to dinner. I'm going to show you the room. You change your clothes, and then you get to meet Patricia. Patricia? Mm. Mama, I told you all about Patricia. She's our social worker. Oh, is she a nice girl? Is she Italian? Come on, Mama. I'll help you unpack, all right? <laughs> you think I ought to go see if she's all right? She's fine, trust me. My mother spends her life in restaurant ladies' rooms. <laughs> she seems very nice, Jake. Yeah, it seems. That's the key word. I like her. I think she's funny. Yeah, I give it 20 years. You won't be laughing. Come on, you're being very hard on her. She's obviously very proud of you. I don't think so. I don't think she's ever forgiven me for not going in my dad's shoe business. Now watch it. Here she comes. Pretend like you're having fun, all right? Why are you having fun? My dears. There, this funny striped wallpaper in there. I got so dizzy, I thought I'd die. Do you feel better now? Sweetie, I haven't felt really good since the Eisenhower administration. <laughs> Jakey. That cholesterol's gonna kill you. Mama, why don't you just let people eat what they want to eat? You can. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, Jakey. You want to kill yourself? Go ahead. So, Mrs. Rizzo, what would you like to do while you're here? Anything, sweetheart. I'm easy. <laughs> as long as there's not a lot of walking. And I don't ride too well in the back seat. Oh, unless the windows are open. Oh, and <laughs> I'm not much good if we're over three stories high. That certainly narrows it down. Would you like to come to the league karate championships on Saturday? I'm in it. I'd love to. Is it indoors? I can't take the sun anymore. <laughs> Not right, Ernie. What do you mean? I got you down. Look, you gotta do it my way. Now try it again. Watch me. Come on. Now that's it. But it's so much different from when my grandfather taught me, sir. You gotta forget about him, Ernie. I'm your coach now. You gotta try harder. You gotta hold your ground, no jumps. Listen, Ernie, there's more at stake here than just a team event. With you, I think we got a chance in the state. Maybe even the Nationals. You with me? Yes, sir. All right. That was a great dinner, Mrs. Rizzo. Mm -hmm. I used to cook like this every night when Jakey was growing up. Now there's only me, I usually eat over the sink. So is Mr. Izzo. So, this Miss Blake, what do you think, Ernie? But what? Do you think she'll make you a good mother? What? Oh, it's clear to me that Jakey is quite taken with her, and she was looking at him with those big blue eyes. Oh, you can't keep things like that from a mother. She's my social worker. I think it's against the rules to marry one of them. There are no rules where love is involved. All right, I got this Pumoni. Had to drive halfway across town to get it. I don't know why we couldn't have regular ice cream. Regular? You know what they put in regular? Enough preservatives so that long after we're dead and gone, our stomachs will still be here. That's that's real appetizing, Mama. Oh, you have a message. Mama, what is this? I can't tell if it says Marsha or Maria. What, you don't know who the women are who call up here? What difference does it make? She sounded cheap. Mama, she wasn't cheap. Look, if you can't take a message right, just don't answer the phone, all right? I told her you left town. You what? Um, you know, I really don't want any ice cream tonight. I still have some homework to do, so 
Good night, Mrs. Rizzo. Good night. Good night. Good night, Ernie. Sleep tight, all right? Hello. Such a nice boy, Jakey. He deserves a better life. A better life? Mommy, he's got everything he needs. Oh, a boy needs a mother. Oh, I'm looking for someone just like you, Mom. It's going to take some time. Yeah. Your father said they broke the mold. That was just before he keeled over and collapsed from overwork at the shoe store. 18 hours a day with no help. God rest his soul. Mama, he's not dead. He's just divorced. In Italy, divorced is dead. Uh, Mama, we have been through all this before. I couldn't go into the business because I just couldn't see myself spending the rest of my life looking at people's feet. So, dressing up like a beatnik, sitting in dumpsters all night waiting for someone to blow your brains out, that's the way to make a living? Think about the boy, Jakey. Mama, I do think about the boy. I think about him all the time. Look, I do what I do because I like it and it's important. You just can't let go of me long enough to see that. Oh, I can let go. I can let go of you so fast, you'll never see me again. Is that what you want? No, of course it's not what I want. Come on, Mama, you're always overreacting to things. You're always blowing things out of proportion. You don't listen. Oh, well, what's to hear? I blow everything up? Look, Mama, you gave me life, you raised me. For that, I'm grateful. But I'm a man now. I've got my own life to live. You can't control that. Well, I can see I came at the wrong time. Mama, don't be ridiculous. I thought that just once, before I grow old and die, I could have a nice time with my only son, but I can see I'm neither needed nor wanted here. Mama, stop this. Can we at least talk about it? Put the bags down, will you? Mama, you can't go anyplace tonight anyway. There's no planes until the morning. Then I'll go to a hotel. I wouldn't want to have such control over your bedroom. Mama. 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 No, she's not with the Shriner. She's got a single room. Yeah, thanks. Wouldn't worry about her, Jake. You can't call every hotel in town. Besides, if anything happens, she'll wind up here. I didn't mean it that way. Yeah. And what am I doing, anyway? She's a grown woman. She can take care of herself. She's the one that left, right? Why should I feel guilty? Exactly. You throw an old lady out, hotels are full of conventions, wanders the streets all night, winds up sleeping in a park someplace. Why should you feel guilty? Sorry, I, I didn't mean it that way either. Patricia, what's she doing with you? She spent the night at my place. All the hotels are full. Told you so. Mm. Go here. Sit. Sit. You're going to have to patch this up with her. Me? Why me? She's the one who walked out. After you insulted her. Is that what she said to you? Look, I know her a little bit better than you do. She's got this special sonar system. She only hears what she wants to hear. Selective hearing, that's what I call it. When I was a kid, I used to think I wasn't making any noise when I was talking. You notice my mouth was moving? Well, she wants me to take her to the airport. What do you want me to do? Sorry about what I said last night. I'd like you to come home and enjoy the rest of your visit. Ernie wants you to. For Ernie, I'll come home. Hey, I wish I had one. 
funny little thing. I bet it helps to kick away at your problems like that. How did you know I had problems? You are not the first boy I've known. When my Jakey was just about your age, he used to get so mad at me or his father, he would get on his bike and ride all over Cleveland. He used to pump and pump until his legs would hardly move. I guess everybody has to do something to get rid of their anger. I do laundry. Sometimes I bring the clothes home from the store and I put them right in the washer. <laughs> it helps. I love Jakey more than anything in the world. I don't think he knows it. But I can't really blame him. I am who I am, and I can't change. I think he knows it. My grandfather said something to me once that I didn't understand at the time. But now I do. He said, in the beginning, it's the parents who have the children. But in time, it's the children who have the parents. So this uh, grandfather of yours, is he married? What are you grinning at? I was just remembering how you used to study so hard in the dining room. <laughs> Your father used to think you'd be a scientist or an engineer. Instead of a cop? I'm glad you're a cop. Not because I'm glad you're a cop. Because you're the best cop. Chin Chin. Chin Chin, Mom. You know, I don't think I remember seeing you have even a glass of wine since, what was it, Cousin Alfredo's wedding? Angelo. I only take a sip on special occasions. What's so special here? My son has a son. Mommy, you knew that. I told you. Don't start with telling me how you told me. I didn't realize it until I came here and saw it for myself. He's a fine boy, Jakey. He'll be a fine father. With or without a mother? That is another fight, and I'm too tired for that. Mama, I don't want to fight with you at all. I know. And I think that all, all those years, I wasn't really angry with you. For a long time, it was your father. Now I think it's just me. It hurt a lot when your father left me, and I had no control over that. But still had you. Then you grew up and left. And there I was, an old lady with nothing left to do. <laughs> like I lost my job. You lose your job, Mama. Got a promotion. You're a grandmother now. Oh, I hope I don't mess it up. You see is like flowers. If the gardener doesn't let the flower grow naturally, but ties it up so it's in a straight line, or was it the water? Mama, you been talking Ernie, hmm? Yeah. Chin <laughs> <laughs> chin, Mama. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in the semifinals of the Southwest Karate Team Regional. In ring number one, we have the Dragons in red against the Tigers in blue. Take it. On the ground. Hold your ground. Next that's up it. Up is the state championship. Hold your ground, Ernie. Hold your ground. That's it. Take a break, Ernie. Hold your ground. You gotta hold your ground. Come on. Yes, Ernie. Ernie. Hey, come here. What's the matter? You not feeling good? I'm feeling fine. Well, the, what, the other guy's just better? Is that it? No, the other guy's not better. Well, what is it? My coach won't let me do it my way. He said it's bad form and he won't win. You want me to talk to him? No. Like you said, he's the coach. Which one of these fine young men is your coach? Chief Judge Tak Kubota brings the trophy forward for the final match. 
In ring one, it's the dragons in red against the pythons in black. The score stands at pythons 24, dragons 22. Where is she? Hmm? Ernie's up, it's the last match. I think she went to the ladies' room. <laughs> it's the story of my life. Next up, captains of both teams. This is it. The winner goes to the state championships. You okay, Mom? I'm fine. I'm just fine. Thank you, Ernie. Oh, we won't say goodbye. We'll say see you next time. Maybe next time Mr. Rizzo and I can come visit you. I'd like that. Well, it's getting late. We better get going. Did I pack that stuffed dog I got for Bruno's boy? Uh, I think so. Is that it? Oh, yes. Uh, did you get my drama man? Yes, Mom, I got that. What about my gum? It's a nice big pack of spearmint like Casper. I said fruit. Mama, you said spearmint. I hate mint. Ernie. Didn't she say spearmint? Your father chewed spearmint. He used to make me sick. Why did you buy all these magazines? You know, I can't read on the airplane. Let's just go get in the car, okay? 